Okay, let's look at problem number 47. In problem 47, we'd like to evaluate the limit. Limit as x goes to 0 of cosecant of 6x times sine of 7x. Now, <clears throat> uh, I notice right off the bat that this isn't even a fraction. So the chances of me being able to use L'Hopital's rule on it are very, very small. But, uh, and, and in fact, almost none. Uh, but what we want to do is let's still check out the form. Because we still might have an indeterminate form, and that gives us a clue that we might be able to work on this somehow and get it into a form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity where I could use L'Hopital's rule. So uh, first, let's just check out the form of um, this guy. And if I plug in 0 here, I get cosecant of 0. Now, cosecant of 0 is kind of an interesting one. Uh, why? Because that's kind of like 1 over sine of 0. But what's sine of 0? Sine of 0 is 0. So that's kind of like 1 over 0. But 1 over 0 is kind of like infinity. Okay, so think that through one more time. Cosecant of 6x is the same thing as 1 over sine of 6x. As x goes to 0, sine of 6x goes to 0. So 1 over something going to 0 goes to infinity. So this first guy is kind of like infinity. What about sine of 7x? As x goes to 0, sine of 0 goes to 0. So we have the form infinity times 0, which is actually not that helpful. I cannot use L'Hopital's rule if the form is infinity times 0. I have to change it in some way so that I either have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. One of those two has to be the case. This kind of thing, it's not going to work, although it gives me a clue that maybe I should change it into one of those forms to use L'Hopital's rule on it. So this is an indeterminate form, but not the one we want. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize that cosecant of 6x is the same as 1 over sine of 6x. So I could throw this thing down on the bottom of the fraction and write it as a sine. So let's do that. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of the sine of 7x will stay on top. But this cosecant of 6x, I'm going to move down onto the bottom and write it as a sine of 6x. Now that we've rewritten this thing, notice it's the exact same expression. We've just written it a little differently. Uh, then what can we say? Well, now what form does this guy have? Well, on top, I've got sine of 0, which is 0. And on bottom, I've got sine of 0, which is 0. So my form is 0 over 0, and as we know, that's exactly what we need in order to use L'Hopital's rule. So let's do it. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of the derivative of sine of 7x is cosine of 7x times 7. And on the bottom, we have the derivative of sine of 6x, which is cosine of 6x times 6. So now, if we plug in 0, notice cosine of 0 is not 0. It's 1. So we get cosine of 0, which is 1, times 7, which is 7. And we get cosine of 0, which is 1, times 6, which is 6. So the answer to this problem is 7 over 6.